What is good YouTube, it's your boy PokerFace and we are back with a new video and in this video guys we are going to be opening a triple blister pack of the new Pokemon TCG set Unbroken Bonds. Now guys again I haven't been doing many videos and I haven't done many openings um, mainly because I have had exams and I still do have exams so please bear with me. But yeah guys, so in this video we're going to be opening that, I'm going to open a single pack as I showed you before as well on the side. Uh, now I do have both of the triple blister packs, I don't know if I'm going to open the other one here on the channel as well. Uh, but I wanted to start off with Sceptow as I'm going to go on to show you that card because uh, unlike popular opinion, I am actually a huge fan of the Sceptow line, it's one of my favourite Pokemon growing up, uh, Trico was as well, Rovile. And so yeah, I decided to open this as my first one um, rather than the Typhlosion, which also looks very cool, don't get me wrong. But I thought I'd open this one first. So let me get these packs out quickly. And then you guys already have seen a few openings of um, blister packs on this channel previously. But as you guys probably know, it comes with a coin. In this case, it's the Hydreigon coin for competitive play even though they don't actually use these coins in competitive play because they're not really fair when you spin them um, and then we have so a total of four packs now I'm going to switch them all around let's mix them up a bit and then let's look at this promo card and this promo card is Sceptile, a hollow obviously um, with power of nature, powerful storm and it is a very good holographic card it looks quite nice, um, decent artwork but yeah, it is a good card in general, and I did like this a bit better than the Typhlosion card. Start off with uh, Meltan and Lucario pack, because I have two of those, and I have um, some of the other artwork as well. I think the only one we're missing is the Reshiram Charizard um, pack, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's alright. So we're going to start off with this one here. Uh, hopefully we can get a, bit, a few better pulls than our last Triple Blister pack opening. Um, our first one, obviously... The team up was very good, but after that wasn't amazing. So, in the first pack, guys, here is the code card. Um, I know you guys do like these code cards, so please, if you do take this code, um, show some appreciation, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, let's get on to this first pack, guys. So, starting off with a Jigglypuff, then a Bellsprout. A Diglett with Giovanni in the background as you can see, a Poliwag, a Rhyhorn, a Reverse Hollow Snorlax which is a rare hollow so this is a good card to put on the side, Lieutenant Surge, okay I feel like I'm, <laughs> I definitely did the card trick wrong in this case um, so sorry about that. This is an uncommon trainer though. Electromagnetic radar, a clever, and our first rare is a tag team GX Greninja and Zoroark. Now that is a very good pull um, from this. There's current background is probably the um, energy card. Yeah, so water energy. And yeah, so that is a very good first pull, guys. Alongside that reverse rare, which um, Snorlax, which has a very cute artwork, as you guys can see here. Um, it's not a very typical artwork, which makes it a lot more uh, better as well, and I guess a bit rare. So let's get on to this um, next pack, which is Machamp and Marshadow. And guys, you can tell me um, who your favorite GX is in the set. This set is a huge set. Um, I can't remember exactly how many cards. I'll show you on the card, uh, actually. So, on to the next pack, guys. Here is the code card. For you guys and then I'm gonna try not to mess up the card trick now I'm gonna just put four to the front and our first NG or card is a metal energy then a Tyrogue a Pokegear 3.0 a Glameow a Giovanni to Diglett a Poliwag uh, Inke a tentacle, a reverse hollow Murkrow, and our rare is a regular rare Meowstic. But like I said, guys, as a huge 
set. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom there. 214 cards, loads of secret rares, loads of hyper rares to pull. Now, going on to the um, Sylveon and uh, Gardevoir pack. Okay, so again, guys, here's the code card. Please try to take one code each. Don't um, don't hog them, I guess. Uh, and again, show some appreciation to the channel because of that. Okay, again, so four from the back, and starting with a Lightning Energy, a Martial Arts Dojo, a Fairy Charm ability, Chip Chip Ice Axe, which looks like something out of Fortnite, Sand Shrew, Cuddling Up, Murkrow. A Oddish, a Mischievous, a Salandit, a Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn, and our rare is a Quagsire, which I have seen. I feel like it's in one of the set, uh, the um, theme decks. I could be completely wrong, but the idea is because it only requires water type energies, it can easily be added to a water type deck. If you wanted to do so, and now onto the last pack, guys. Back to a Lucario and Meltan pack. So those other two packs weren't amazing, not the best pulls, but I'm still very happy with the initial pull we got. And now onto the final pack, guys. Please drop a like and subscribe. Here's the final code there for from the back. And starting with a Metal Energy, a Gliscor. A triple acceleration entry which does have a gold card in this, a energy spinner, a polywag, a spritzy, a licky tongue, which um, was in the Detective Pikachu movie, which hopefully you guys have seen by now. I was going to make a video on my thoughts, which I might still do, but I had mixed feelings about it to be completely honest. A uh, Venonat, Sparrow, a reverse holo poker gear, and our final card, guys. In this opening will be a Gardevoir and Sylveon GX Tag Team Hyper Rare. Um, and I was going to say before opening the Gardevoir Sylveon pack that this is one of the cards I wanted. I do want it more in a full art. But yeah guys, let's go on to the recap and see what cards we have pulled. So starting off guys with the promo, obviously it comes with any triple blister pack and what makes it a lot more worth I guess is lost with most blister packs in general, even the single ones um, and I do like Sceptile personally so it's good. The other one being Typhlosion, a reverse holo rare Snorlax which is normally a holographic card um, which is good and a lot of people like it because of the artwork. You see the two chubby looking Pikachus and the Snorlax there as well. A Greninja Zoroark GX card, um, hyper rare, not a, it's not a full art or a secret rare. And um, our final was a Gardevoir and Sylveon GX tag team. So two very, very good pulls in, out of the four packs, but in general, three to four good cards. So can't complain with this opening. Hopefully you guys have liked this opening, guys. So drop a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And like always, I will catch you next time.